Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Hi, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. I hope that everyone is healthy and safe where they are. Uh, many blessings and prayers going out to you, okay? All right, so Aries, let's jump into this. Let's see, what will your week be? What will your week be about? Lord God bless Aries with a message. Okay. All right. Ooh. That one flipped over. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see what this is about, Aries. The messenger of fire, the seven of water, and the eight of earth. Okay. <clears throat> This could be you, Aries. This could be someone else with the messenger of fire here. Um, some of you could be trying to get judgment on something that maybe you applied for or that you're expecting. Maybe a loan of some sort. Uh, also, yeah, it, it talks about other people's money. You feel like something is up in the air. Um... You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of yeah. You have a lot of ideas. What you, what you will do with this money? Some of you are wanting to reach out to someone who's already partnered. Someone who's already paired. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It could be anyone. Um, this is someone who keeps their options open. Um, this could be a cheating spouse or a partner. Um, someone who just makes promises. They say things, but they don't really hold true. Or they don't have any intention of following up with what they have said or what they have uh, promised. You know, this talks about making promises and just to break them you know they had no intentions of ever following through you could be dealing with someone like that and they, be, they could be coming up in that nature because they're already in a relationship they already have an entanglement um they already have merged their life with something or someone else also there could be someone fantasizing about coming back to you and having that merger wanting to be your your husband um, or your wife uh, this could be a person from the past they want you to forgive them to release the old and understand them right where they are with the new or, or them renewed or being new this could also be some of you like I said waiting for you know judgment or, some, or something to clear in regards to you know loans or uh, income or income tax refund or um, other people's money you know money where it, it could either be loaned or it's a grant or it's a um, it's given you know it could even be a gift not even not a gift yeah it could be a gift it could be also inheritance it could be um investments like you something's up in the air you 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 act you try to act fast and try to get a desired outcome maybe in some different investments here you're trying to be strong if there is a loss because it does um you know involve your family but you might have victory here because i think you you kind of you you act fast here you did something really quickly here um <clears throat> that could be somebody with one foot in out the door one one foot in one foot out um they keep like i said they keep their options open this could be you aries this could be someone else they have a lot of options here but it looks like they want to merge their life with you with with yours but they still haven't closed this door. 
Um, it might be an opportunity that comes to you this week that you're going to have to move and act fast on or in. Or you're gonna have yeah, you're gonna have to act really quickly. What's the advice for Aries this week? The five of maybe things may not turn out exactly how you thought they would. Um, don't worry, all is not lost. Um, there could be someone missing you, longing for you. Uh, what's the advice for Aries this week? Yeah. So things may not turn out exactly how you thought they should turn out and um, or, you know, you have this idea of how things are supposed to manifest or progress. But it says that things may not turn out exactly how you think they, sh they should. But the magician is here saying that um, you have everything you need to bring about what it is you want in your reality. Um, you just think there's loss. You think there is, you are without. There's too much change in your in your reality to actually manifest. Um, but keep in mind, you still have something to manifest. But you have all you need. Um, yeah, eight of. Okay, so the strength card. Another eight. So this this could talk about. Um, yeah, this could talk about you you needing to. Release the pride here. So some of you, what is this about? Yeah, oh wow. Three eight, 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 eight. So some cycle ended in your life. Okay. It, and you might need to go into hermit mode, mode here after you um, release because it says that in order for you to have what you really want, you're going to have to learn how to play your cards right and be better at what it, whatever it is you're trying to manifest here. Um, you can't keep repeating the same old cycles. Um, you're gonna have to be strong enough to walk away from something that will no will that either no longer fulfills you or will never fulfill you. You're gonna have to go back into maybe the drawing board here. It says that you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but the answer is within you. Listen to your intuition. Look at past experience. How you dealt with particular person, place, or thing. And then make a significant change or move. Don't be afraid to abandon ship. Especially if you know this ship will never manifest to fulfillment. To goal fulfillment. It says that some of you may need to learn more about yourself. Know thyself. Learn about yourself so that you can come into that age of maturity and clarity. Knowledge. Knowledge of self with this hermit card. Um, yeah. Okay. So, we may even be going to somebody who is very um, wise. They can give you an idea of what it is you need to be focused on to be better. <clears throat> and whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Let's see what you should be concerned about this week. Whoa, those jumped out. Um, adult children and gracefully aging. So some of you may have young adult, young adult children or just adult children. Or you may be the adult child. And you have to be concerned about maybe um, your parents. Um, now it's time for you to, to kind of be the adult in that situation you have to be concerned about their well-being um, if you have young adult children or just adult children it says something with them could bring you a lot of clarity um, maybe they have something to say to you something that can be influential uh, something that can move you forward uh, gracefully aging it talks about of course it talks about the outward appearance it talks about beauty regimens. Um, if you don't have any, you need to get one. It can even go as far as talking about a makeover um, of the outward, uh, um, you know, your outward appearance. But it also talks about the inward, like you should be at a place of maturity or maturing. Um, it says that you're trying to get there with this hermit card. You're trying to gracefully age, but at the same time, it's 
you have to let a cycle go. You are stuck in a particular cycle that um, it looks like it just keeps you in a loop. Like maybe you, you keep meeting the same people. You keep getting the same dead-end jobs. Uh, whatever it may be for you. Or, or you just can't keep money. The money flows. It comes in, but it goes out as quickly as it as it uh, comes in. Um, there's no opportunity to invest. Invest in yourself. Invest um, in something that will uh, get you more capital. It says that you got to go back to school on something um, so you can age gracefully. Okay. Um, Aries, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Or you can email, email, not text, do not text, email a question to my email address below and you can take advantage of the one question, one answer. Okay. Uh, thank you, Aries. Take care. Be safe. Be blessed. Bye.